Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Um, cool day, pretty pretty cool day. Um, you know, a little, little messy in the middle of the morning, but overall uh, pretty decent action. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, if you can be so kind uh, and take one second out of your day, uh, click a like, you'll support the channel, share, subscribe if you haven't uh, done so already. And again, I'll just try my darndest to help you guys out uh, only on a day-to-day -day basis because, again, we can't get prepared for next month if we can't put our heads around tomorrow, and that's the most important uh, part. So uh, you woke up this morning. Uh, you woke up this morning. You saw healthcare names uh, getting hit pretty aggressively. Uh, UNH led the way down uh, 8%. You saw oil down 5%. So you had a pretty big decline this morning, uh, especially in the Dow names. Uh, Dow finished down 324 points. Uh, S&P down 44 points and the Nasdaq down 187 points. We'll get to Nasdaq in a second. But if, if you look at the pre-market, right, if you look at the pre-market with technology, you can see the really big disconnect uh, between the downings, right? The, the oils, uh, the healthcare stocks. And if you look at the semiconductors this morning, everything was good. You know, you had uh, NVIDIA continuing its run, right? Continuing its run. Uh, you had Qualcomm that was very, very strong. We'll get to the pivots in a second. Uh, everything was good, right? Everything was good. Um, you know, everything was setting up. And then next thing you know, ASML that wasn't scheduled to release earnings until I think tomorrow, right? Came out earnings in the middle of the day. And you can see this, right? <laughs> Not good, right? Not good. So uh, something in that earnings release obviously wasn't good. And as you can imagine, you know, it doesn't take a lot, right? It doesn't take a lot for... Um, the group that has led the market uh, to get a little bit of a bump just because, again, we had such a big run-up. And as you can imagine, everything got hit, right? Everything instantly got hit. NVIDIA, uh, all, you know, all the big movers, right? NVIDIA got hit. Qualcomm got hit. Uh, Arm that had a massive, massive move yesterday got hit. And you could just see here on the intraday charts, once they hit one, they hit them all. Uh, look at Arm, right? Look at Arm. Look at Qualcomm. Uh, LRCX that, you know, it's because LRCX chart doesn't come out. Like they all got absolutely killed. And the cool part about, uh, the cool part about all these stocks getting hit this morning wasn't that they got hit. The cool part was how orderly it was. Even though it was aggressive, it, even though it was very, very fast. And if you blink, you kind of missed it. But all the market did today was, you know, go down and touch successfully the 10 day moving average. You see that, guys, right? It held the 10 day moving average uh, and it just bounced, you know, bounced about $2 uh, into the close. That's a good thing, right? That's an absolutely good thing. At the same time, you saw a lot of names, um, a lot of names really go nuts with speculation capital, right? A uh, name, for example, like SSMT, right? SSMT, beautiful breakout today, right? Gorgeous, gorgeous breakout today. Uh, a name, for example, like Rum, right? A name, for example, like Run. Again, big, big move. Again, this is showing uh, speculation capital is very, very good. That's exactly what you want to see. Uh, even a name, for example, well, even a name, right? Look at this sucker. This is not a misprint. I'm going to tell my great, great grandchildren this is how babies were concealed, right? This is like the new ad for Pfizer. Like, what the hell is this thing? So this damn thing was up 1,400% um, in, in the regular session, and it's up it was up at one point another eight dollars after the close. But my point is there was no fear, right? And by the way, you have to be on special type of pills to being drug up a thousand fourteen hundred percent. Thank you. Thank you. I've been there all week. Bars, right? But the most important part, guys, the most important part is the orderly bounce, right? The orderly bounce, the dip got bought, a lot of these semiconductor names bounce off their respective moving averages. And they finished, you know, they finished towards uh, the, the middle part of the range, which is a good thing. Here is where we take the rose-colored glasses off and start talking about being potentially ready on both sides of the market, right? I trade both sides of the market. I couldn't care less uh, which way the market's going, but 
when we have data, and that's the name of the game, when we collect data and that data gets confirmed the next day, we are prepared for it. Again, what we always talk about, the common denominator, no matter if we're bullish or bearish going into the next trading day is, I always like to give myself outs. I always like to say to myself, well, what happens if we confirm to one side of the channel? What happens if we lose the previous day's lows? What happens? And that's the whole point of being a trader. You're prepared on both sides of the market. So the question going into tomorrow is, well, is this an outlier event, right? Is this outlier event? And then tomorrow, everything's going to start getting bit back up and we're going to start rallying. But there's a flip side to it, right? There's a flip side as well. Keep this in mind, a name like NVIDIA. We talked about this last night on the video. You guys remember last night of the video? What happens if this inverted handler, we talked about this last night in the video, was going to be a sell signal, correct? So we got the sell signal today. And now the question is going into tomorrow. I'm just going to use NVIDIA as an example. And there's a lot of names. If you go through the text, uh, if you go through tech names, especially the semiconductors, you'll see a lot of names kind of look like NVIDIA, right? But I'm going to just use NVIDIA as a proxy. But what happens, right? What happens if this is not an outlier, uh, an, an event? What happens if there is a day two of selling? Well, that's the whole point. Go through your charts, folks. Go through your charts and start looking at all the stocks, especially the semiconductor group that held their 10-day moving average the same way that the Qs held their 10-day moving average. Now, here's where you got to be prepared. If the Qs lose... 488.68, right? That's today's lows. You see that, guys? That's the, that's today's lows. That's the bottom of the channel. If they start losing today's lows and they start losing their respective moving averages, well, why can't we get a day two? Just because we're at a very, very rabid speculation money fueled uh, bullish cycle doesn't mean the market can't have two days worth of selling. And that's our job, right? Our job is to put ourselves in a situation that common sense, right? Common sense is much more important than euphoria and being feasible, right? Feasible sitting down and turning my computer and saying, well, wait a minute, here's my worst case scenario. Here's my best case scenario. And here's where things go left if I'm not prepared. And that's what you have to do. So for example, if NVIDIA starts losing, right, it's 10 day moving average. Well, there's another three, four points of downside. Well, why can't we trade it, right? Nobody's saying NVIDIA is going down. The AI bubble is going to burst. And, and it's going to see 100. All we're saying is there's two sides of the market, right? God gave you two hands, right? Gave you two eyes, gave you two ears, right? Well, why can't you trade both sides of the market? And that's the point. There's a lot of good uh, speculation charts to the upside. And we'll get to them in a second. But there's a lot of names. You know, you've got to go through the NASDAQ 100 that if they start losing their respective uh, rising 10-day supports, we can get a, an opportunity. We can get uh, some value going into tomorrow. So we are definitely prepared on both sides of the market. I uh, hear where the pivots this morning. I uh, hear where the pivots this morning. Uh, Qualcomm uh, 79 needs to build. Everything was going fine. It, you know, it started going, uh, stock went to almost to 80, and then the ASML news came out and just murdered everything. So I got long LRCX at 86.30. I've been, I've been watching this setup literally for like five days. I, I get long the stock, the stock doesn't do anything. I'm sitting there, I'm sitting there, I'm sitting there. And then the stock finally starts moving up, you know, 25, 30 cents. I'm like, God, this is like the absolute worst thing. Because I'm, again, I'm used to trading, you know, I'm used to trading these violent names, you know, like NVIDIA, Tesla, that are, you know, going up in, in dollars. And this thing's just sitting there, sitting there, sitting there. And finally, I was just like, listen, this is taking way too long. I get out of the stock, literally break even. And then the a ASML news comes out like three minutes later. So sometimes, again, luck plays a part. Um, it does, you know, sometimes lung does play a part, but again, ASML really, uh, at least put the momentum train on pause on the semiconductor names for a couple of days. Uh, IONQ, nice move there. Uh, 11 needs to build. And again, this, this is all happening prior to this ASML news. Uh, it took out 11, traded up to 1130. And then this ASML news literally killed everything, but a nice pop. I mean, again, there was nothing wrong. A 30 cent move. If you're trading an eleven dollar stock, there's nothing wrong. It's a nice little, you know, nice little pop. Uh, Amat uh, fourteen and a quarter needs to build again. As you can see, the concentration was on uh, the semiconductor names, so it took out this fourteen and a quarter, traded up to sixteen, and then yada yada yada. ASML, <laughs> right? It got ASML like everything else. Uh, we talked about Coinbase last night. You guys remember when you talked about Coinbase last night? Day two momentum. Big move. Congratulations for you guys who caught this move. Uh, 
uh, needs to confirm potential 201, 202 supply. It went to almost 205, 205, 206. So beautiful move there. Congratulations. Uh, Google was pretty good. You know, Google was pretty good. 166, 60 supply needs to build. I got about a dollar out of that thing. Uh, that that looks good. You know, nice move before everything got came in. Uh, Amazon never got to the 190, 190s area. Uh, Meta, I shorted, I, I shorted Meta by accident at the wrong price. Again, talk about, you know, talk about sometimes uh, luck plays a part of it. Uh, in my mind, in, in, my, in my mind, for some reason, I knew 8160 was the spot. 8160 was the spot. 8160 was the spot. I actually accidentally shorted through the lows of the day in the 82, uh, 8220s, 8230s. For some reason, I had a brain fart and the stock went down like a dollar and change. I got lucky, literally. You don't want to make money luckily. But sometimes, again, it all balances out. As much as we, you know, press the wrong button, sometimes we say buy, and then instead, instead of thinking sell, sometimes the universe helps us out. And I got uh, very, very lucky. I'm still watching Meta for tomorrow. Uh, Celh uh, never confirmed. Um, interesting looking name uh, for tomorrow. So let me give you guys some names. I am watching uh, both to the downside and I'm watching uh, to the upside uh, for tomorrow. Let me give you guys a couple of names. Let's see a couple of names here. Uh, look at Roku, right? Look at Roku in case the market rallies. Uh, Roku, nice looking chart here, right? Nice looking chart here, tight consolidation. Let's see if we could take out uh, the September highs. Uh, SMMT had a beautiful, beautiful break today. Uh, beautiful, beautiful break today. Reclaimed back the 20-day supply. Let's see if this channel gets confirmed. If it could confirm the September highs, who knows? Maybe you could have a day two. Uh, so keep an eye on that. Uh, this TDOC looks great. Absolutely great. This is a consolidation uh, going back to September 18th. Keep an eye on this thing. I think they report in a week or so. If it starts building above, if it starts confirming today's channel, who knows? Maybe this thing can wake up. Uh, so keep an eye on that. Um, you know what? I, I you know, Let's watch CELH. I, I know it's not there yet. But I, I really like this flag. You know what I'm saying? I really like this flag here. Let's watch this thing in the next couple of days. If it can reclaim back the 50-day moving average, probably not for tomorrow. But let's get, keep an eye on it just in case. Just in case. Uh, some shorts I'm definitely watching. Uh, let's watch Meta, right? Let's watch Meta below today's channel. Uh, let's watch. Um, let's watch obviously Nvidia, right? Let's watch obviously Nvidia uh, below the 10-day moving average. Uh, let's watch Microsoft, right? You can see Microsoft stopped right at the 150-day uh, support. Let's keep an eye on if it loses that. Um, Meta, you know, AMD. AMD was the first one to get hit. Let's keep an eye on AMD uh, for a potential day two move as well. So, you know, again, we're set up on both sides. Obviously, uh, the options market is going to dictate how I operate throughout the day. If there is aggressive repeat buyers, short-term expiration, deep out of the money calls, that's what you want to see. If there is short expiration, uh, aggressive repeat buyers, out of the money puts, that's exactly what you want to see here. You want to go with institutional money flow. You can't be in a trade that somebody on Robinhood is long 100 shares screaming the stock is going higher or lower. You need to see hundreds of thousands, not millions of dollars of bet in that contract over and over and over again so you could have a really good feel that the cavalry is coming. Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless. Let's see what we got tomorrow. Always be prepared on both sides.